Okay, so what we want to do on this one is we want to actually go ahead and rewrite using the least common denominator in the denominator spot. And so what we're going to do here is we have to get a common denominator right here for the 1 over cosine squared minus 1. So that minus 1, we're going to actually think of that as cosine squared over cosine squared. So we have that common denominator. And so what that will do is when I rewrite this, it's going to be 1 minus cosine of theta squared. And then in the denominator spot, we'll, still, we'll have our LCD, which is cosine of theta squared. So let's go ahead and check that. There we go. Okay, so then our next step is they're kind of telling me what they want me to do, which we're going to do the keep change flip, basically. So for, they want us to write it in a horizontal format first. So they're, they're just changing it as, from line division to using the symbol right there. So I'm actually just going to rewrite exactly what I already have right there. So let's see, 1 minus cosine of theta squared. And then in the denominator spot, we'll also have that cosine of theta squared. And we'll go ahead and check that. That looks good. And so now, see, they're changing it to multiplication, and so you have to do the reciprocal. So now we're going to flip this around, and we'll have the cosine of theta squared on top. And on bottom, we'll have the 1 minus cosine of theta squared. Okay. All right. So now it says uh, multiply and write in lowest terms. And so, um, okay, so I paused the video to make sure I put the right answer in for this next part. And so this is multiply and write in lowest terms. Um, so what they don't say is that they want you to factor the denominator that will help you simplify it. So I just wanted to double check that before I uh, tried that. And so I, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did that. So let me pull this up here. And so what I did here is, and so on top we have the cosine of theta plus 1, and then we're multiplying that by cosine of theta squared. Now on bottom, this is actually, the, you could look at this as the difference of two squares, and so you do 1 with plus, and you do 1 with minus right there. And so from there, you the cosine of theta plus 1, and then on the bottom I have 1 plus the cosine of theta. Those two things are the same thing, so I can cancel them out. And that's how I got to this part right here. Now, what you're going to have to do next is, and we actually did this in class. This is kind of a tricky maneuver here. Um, what we're going to do is on bottom, we're going to pull out a cosine. We're going to factor out a cosine. So the top will just stay cosine of theta squared. On bottom, I'm actually going to pull out a cosine of theta. And what that does is it turns that 1 into 1 over cosine of theta. And then the cosine will just turn into a minus 1. So this is kind of a, a little factoring trick we use. So I factored, factored that out. Okay, hopefully you're seeing that. Like I said, we did a problem like that in class. Um, and so what that's going to allow me to do is cancel out a cosine on top. So I had cosine squared, now it'll just be a cosine. And then the reciprocal identity of that's going to be secant. So I'm going to be left with cosine of theta on top, and on bottom I'm going to be left with um, the secant of theta minus 1. And if you look back, that's actually what the other side is. Let me pull that up. So that's actually what we were trying to solve right there. So let's see what the next step says. It says divide, yeah. So divide the numerator and denominator by the same function and simplify. Okay, so they did it a little differently, but it's the same result. So they're dividing everything by cosine, basically. 
I, I factored it out and then did it. But what they're saying, and this is completely fine, they're uh, just going to divide everything by cosine. And so when you do that, you'll end up with uh, what I have here in blue. You'll have cosine of theta over 1 over cosine of theta minus 1. So that's a nice, clean way of thinking of it. And then uh, from there, I'm assuming they'll ask you to do the reciprocal identity. And that should be it. So I know these are challenging on the computer. I mean, they're challenging on paper, obviously, but computer can sometimes be helpful and sometimes it can be make it a little bit more challenging with these type of questions. So hang in there. And if you have some more of them, you know, feel free to send them.